Good morning, off breeze. Today is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. Today the weather will be sunny and warm. Today's lunch choice is pizza. Now for Dr. Sharetz for a morning meeting. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Today is early release, so that means you guys get off at 1 o'clock. And today we're going to learn about digital citizenship with Ms. Abston, our educational technologist. So let's listen carefully as we learn about how we can be better digital citizens. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be back on morning meeting. So we're gonna take a little break from what we've been talking about on Wednesdays with the Hispanic Heritage Month. And uh, we'll pick that back up next week with Ms. Salas. But this week, we're gonna dive back into digital citizenship. And this is a really, really important lesson we're gonna be talking about today, because it's going to be talking about what kind of personal information belongs online and what does not belong online. So even though you're using Google Classroom and it's attached to your student account, it's really important that there's some personal information that you don't put on Google, any documents in Google Classroom, if it's Google Docs or Google Slides. And I really want you to listen to this video and understand that, that it's really important to be safe online. And those part, part of that digital citizenship is making sure that you're not giving people online too much information about yourself. So watch the video, take it, put it in your brain, and remember that as you're going online at home and here at school, and I hope you enjoy it. Take a look in the mirror. What do you see? Yourself, of course. But who are you? What makes you, you? There are lots of things. Your personality, your favorite food, your pet, or your favorite movie. Sharing this personal information on your phone or computer can be a lot of fun and can help you connect with other people. Sharing something fun that happened keeps a great memory alive. And sharing what you know teaches other people new ideas. Before you share, however, it's important to pause and think. Some information about you, like your full name, your address, or your date of birth, can be used to identify you individually. This information is private and should not be shared online, unless you get permission first from an adult you trust. So, when it comes to sharing about you, personal info can be okay. But private info? No way. Think before you share. With friends, with your community, and with the world. So, what information do you share online? Welcome back. I hope you guys learned a lot about uh, how to share responsibly with your personal information. Uh, before I go into the three big things that you guys need to keep offline, I want to talk about one more important thing. And that is that if you are sharing things online, even if it's in Google Classroom, that you're doing it with the permission of an adult. So if you're at school, it's somebody in your classroom, and if you're at home, it's somebody, an adult in your home. Please make sure that it's okay with them because that's the biggest starter on that. If they're not okay with it, then regardless of whether it's uh, you're just your first name or things that you like, um, it's really important that they approve of that too. So make sure that you're doing that as well as digital citizens. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review the really, really important things not to share online. Your full name is your first and your last name. So if you're typing on Google Docs, maybe you put your first name and then your student number if you're doing it in the classroom, um, but no full names there. And then say something like you're typing a friendly letter and you wanna put your return address. Don't put your real address. You get to have the opportunity to imagine that you live somewhere else. My third graders always love to make uh, use their imagination to make a new address when we did friendly letters so that when they were typing online that they weren't actually putting their real address on there. Those are some really important things and of course your birthday they talk about that. So be safe and be responsible and make sure you check in with those adults before you share anything online but I know you guys are going to do great and I know that you guys are all great digital citizens because I see it every day when I come into your classroom. Thanks for watching. And now for our JPS mission statement. JPS kids soar higher. Super problem solvers, outstanding writers, accomplished readers, ready for success. 
And now for our success equation. And I've been seeing a lot of kids do this, and that's why they've been very successful in a lot of things that they're doing around this school. So let's say that together. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you for watching Morning Meeting. Are you guys ready to dance? All right, ready? Go.